Welcome students. Hi. Hope you might have studied our last four videos. In our last video we have studied about the properties of the electrical charges. See, regarding the properties of electrical charges we are having four properties. The four properties are one is the electrical charge represented by the letter E. The second one is conservation of electrical charge. The third one we have stated as um, additive nature. And the fourth one it is called to be quantization of electrical charge. So we are having four basic properties for electrical charges. In that I have dealt with one example problem. A simple problem which carries two marks. What is that simple problem which carries two marks? If you are given a charge Q, in that problem the charge Q given is one coulomb. Question asked is how many number of electronic charges are available? That is, we have calculated using the formula Q is equal to N into E. So N is equal to Q by E and we have calculated N as 6.25 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons. Hope you should have understood that problem. Now, today we are moving on to the next one. What is the next one? See, in our introductory part itself we have stated that electromagnetic forces forms the basic for electrical forces. So here we are going to state about the force or electrostatic force between two point charges. That electrostatic force between two point charges is given by a famous law called to be Coulomb's law. So what that Coulomb's law gives? Coulomb's law gives the force between the electric force between two point charges between two point charges what do you, you know what do you mean by a charge what do you mean by this point charge when you can say that the charge is a point charge See, we have to consider the dimensions of the charge. Dimensions means the size. So, if the dimensions of the charge is considered to be very small compared to the distance between the two charges, then we are stating that charge as point charge. So, first of all, let us define what do you mean by this point charge. If the dimensions of the charges are very small, if the dimensions of the charges are very small, okay, are considered to be very small when compared to what? When compared to distance between the two charges, then the charge is called to be what? then the charge is called to be point charges. So, let us consider two point charges and keep it in a medium, whatever may be the medium, but the medium should be a dielectric medium, a medium which won't conduct. In that medium, if I am placing two charges separated by a small distance called to be R, then what is electrostatic force between the two charges that was the question what is the electrostatic force between the two charges see according to Benjamin Franklin the force available in between the two charges depends on the nature of the charges if the nature of the charges are of same then repulsive force will be available if the nature of the forces, if the nature of the charges is considered to be different, 
then attractive force so what is the force let us see or what is the magnitude of the force let us calculate so in order to state that let us consider two points in a medium let us take that medium may be an air medium or the medium may be vacuum or the medium may be free space or the medium may be a glass rod whatever may be but the me in general the medium should be a dielectric medium a medium which is not conducting now let us take the two points one as a another one as b in the medium at a i am having one point charge represented as q1 and at b i am placing the second charge represented as q2 let us take the two bodies or the two charges are separated by a small distance r what is the magnitude of the force force is a vector quantity let us write it in vector notation later first of all let us calculate the magnitude of the forces what do you mean by the magnitude of force that is the numerical value magnitude of the forces f vector written inside the modulus so what is this value according to coulomb's law according to the coulomb's law the magnitude of the force is directly proportional to the product of two forces product of two charges not forces product of two charges that is i can write modulus of f vector is f which is directly proportional to product multiplied so product of the two charges means it is f proportional to q1 into q2 again the second point the modulus of f vector or uh, i can write f is directly proportional to 1 by or i can say inversely proportional to square of the distance between the two charges so i can write the in mathematical form as f proportional to 1 by r square it is when it is written mathematically if i am saying i can state as the force is inversely proportional to square of the distance between the two charges so how i can state the law see i am stating the law combining these two as the force between the two char point charges is directly proportional to the product of the two charges that is q1 into q2 divided by that is inversely proportional to square of the distance between them this we are calling it out as the magnitude of the force between the two charges clear see when you are asking to write the coulomb's law alone it carries two marks while coulomb's law alone is written you have to state that the magnitude of the force between the two point charges that point is very very important point charges is directly proportional to product of the charges and inversely proportional to square of the distance mathematically it can be written as f proportional to q1 into q2 divided by r square okay let us go for the next point in this when you are considering the next point force is a vector quantity so i am stating like this sum of the points number 1 when you are considering the force along what direction or along what line that force is acting see the force between the two charges is acting along the line joining the two charges along the line joining the two charges clear see you are drawing a line joining the two charges along that line the force is acting 
the force acting may be attractive or repulsive depending on its nature if both charges are of same nature both are positive or both are negative then repulsive force see if both are positive or both charges are negative then we can able to get the repulsive force acting along the line joining the two charges suppose if one of the charges is positive and another one is negative or one is negative and another one is positive then the force between the two charges is considered to be attractive in nature and it is acting again along the line joining the two charges so i have to state this force in vector notation because force is a what quantity vector quantity if you are considering the force as a vector quantity i can write this as f vector see if i am writing it as f vector how i can get this so again i am considering that diagram you see i am having the charge q1 here i am having the charge q2 here the two charges are separated by a distance called to be r but i can measure this distance r either from q1 to q2 or from q2 to q1 whatever the direction the magnitude may be the same but the direction in which i am moving will be different if i am measuring the distance from q1 to q2 then i am writing the distance as r12 vector r r12 cap the magnitude multiplied with the direction direction is r12 means 1 to 2 similarly i am considering the reverse concept you see the distance is r but now i am measuring it from where now i am measuring it from q2 to q1 q2 to q1 means second charge to first charge so i am writing r2 second charge to first charge magnitude is r same so i am writing this as a unit r if i am considering r12 the direction of measurement is from q1 to q2 if i am measuring the distance from q2 to q1 then i am writing it as r21 direction of measurement is like this okay then let us consider the next point here see you are having here q1 and here you are having q2 the force between the two charges may act either on q1 or on q2 either repulsive or attractive clear q1 may have force act pano q2 may have force act pano Q1 मेल एक्ट पना गुड़िये फोर्स Q2 नाला एरुको, Q2 मेल एक्ट पना गुड़िये फोर्स Q1 नाला एरुको. So force on Q1, clear? Force on Q1. अब आई एम राइटिंग F1. Due to what charge? Due to second charge. So I am writing that as F12, and I am taking this as the vector quantity. What is this F12 force acting on the first charge by the second charge? if that is the case if both charges are of same type either both are positive or both are negative then this f12 may act 